Bravo Show. All the top tunes. Up. Hey, Monica. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. You get them just what they get in the big house. It's the Joey and Rory Show. This week's special guest, Heidi Feet. This week's episode brought to you by Lions Chevrolet in Lewisburg, Tennessee. And now, she was homecoming queen 1993, and he was Highland, Kansas spelling bee champion. Here they are, Joey and Rory! No, I don't mind if you Sit down if you want to I'll only be here if you I'm waiting for someone Yes, I'm drinking wine One more would be just fine To pass the time While I'm waiting for someone I guess he's running late Oh, I hate these blind days Waiting for someone What's that? No, not me I'm still single and free Someday I wanna be I'm just waiting for someone Yeah, I like this song too Why sure I'll dance with you Just one or two While I'm waiting for someone He's not gonna show Sometimes that's how it goes Waiting for someone It's really not that far But you can walk me to my car Waiting for someone Yeah, I've had a nice time too Sure, I'd love to hear from you You know I think I'm through Waiting for someone Cause to tell you the truth was just waiting for someone like you. Were you really waiting for someone like me? I've been waiting for someone like you all my life. I like that. <laughs> Y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Won't you think of me too, Josephine? His and Hers, the brand new album from ACM winners Joey and Rory. Wonder how you carry on. Featuring Josephine and When I'm Gone. We'll both be fine when I'm gone. Order yours now at joeyandrory.com. We have a very special guest tonight, don't we? We do. It's our daughter, Heidi. Heidi's been writing songs and singing since she was little. She grew up in a household full of music, and we're awful proud of her. Yeah, please make welcome, Heidi. (laughs) 
I'm Heidi Feek, I'm 25 years old, and I'm Joey and Rory's oldest daughter. I was born in Buford, South Carolina. My dad was in the Marines, so we moved around a lot. He was always playing music and writing. We eventually ended up in Nashville. That's where I've lived and grown up for the past 14 years. I work as a waitress at Marcy Joe's Meal House and Bakery, our family's restaurant, two days a week. Besides waitressing, I sing backup for my parents, and we get to tour all over and play lots of shows, and um, it's really fun. One day I'd really, I'd really like to be able to play my own shows, play my own music, and make a living doing that. I know that most people my age like to listen to music on iPods or iPhones or their computers, but um, in the last couple of years I got a record player and I've been slowly gathering my collection of records. I really, really enjoy just sitting and listening to my old records and going shopping for new old records. <laughs> Dad and Joey play traditional country music, which I love, but um, I have my own style that I play. Some of my favorite singers are um, Willie Nelson and Marty Robbins, Elvis Presley, Roy Orbison, Chris Christopherson. One big thing going on right now is I'm um, getting married. I've been planning and um, I'm really excited, kind of nervous. I hope that it all comes together nicely. It's been a, a lot of details, a lot of help from friends. My fiance is an artist, he's a painter. Um, he, we're actually in his studio right now. <laughs> um, but he's fantastic. CaseyPierce.com Growing up with my dad, uh, as a dreamer, as a songwriter, as a musician, it took a long time for him to gain his success. I understand that it takes a long time and a lot of hard work. I've got a lot of time. I'm still young. I'm still working hard. So I'm just going to keep working and keep trying and keep believing until it all works out. Take it slow When you go To take off your ring Pack up your things And head on down the road I need some time to tell my mind To learn to let you go So Take it slow When you go Out with your friends On the weekends Where the neon lights glow after a few, you'll stumble into some places you shouldn't go. So, take it slow. When the band starts to play and a stranger looks your way and you dance with her When the clock upon the wall Says it's almost last call And you know it's time to go Oh no, take it slow When you go Home with that girl Wrecking my world Baby, don't you know There was a time Your kisses were mine Not that long ago So Take it slow Yeah, I need some time To tell my mind So take it slow.
much luck with dogs out there at our place. We, we live kind of close to the road, and fast-moving Chevys get a lot of them, and coats get to rest. We had this woman from church come down there one day, and she rescues a lot of these dogs. And she said, I got this dog you really need to take. And I said, well, Miss Judy, we don't have much luck with dogs out here. I said, they get killed. And she said, this is a rescue, and Pound's gonna come get it if we don't do something. I said, well, what's the dog's name? She said, the dog's name is Baby. So I said, well, we'll call the dog Maybe. And maybe it'll live, and maybe it won't. <laughs> well, we got chickens out there, and this dog never messed with our chickens, but the old boy across the road was always shooting coyotes or foxes or something, getting his chicken thing flies. And, uh, well, he come over one day and he said, you got a little old brown dog, don't you? And I said, yeah, yeah, we got a brown dog. He said, well, I killed a little old brown dog this morning. It was in my chicken pen, had a hen in, in his mouth. I said, well, that wouldn't have been ours because we got chickens that don't mess with our chickens. Well, he said, I got her in the back of the truck here. So I went over and looked, and there was Maybe. Just stove up, his feathers hanging out of her mouth. And I said, well, that's her. I guess, I guess that's her. That's, uh, that's too bad. She wasn't messing with ours, but I guess she was doing her business elsewhere, you know. <laughs> well, I had to go in and break it to the kids, you know, and the wife. And I said, uh, got them gathered around there. And I said, you know, uh, y'all know Maybe? And they said, yeah, and I said, well, maybe he's looking more like a probably not. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. About a mile from our farmhouse is a little restaurant called Marcy Joe's that my wife and my sister own together. Why don't we head on down there and see what's cooking? Y'all come on in and stay wherever you want. Well, Marcy Joe's is known for it being a meat and three. Yeah, and besides the meat and three, Marcy Joe's also, uh, we have sandwiches and sides. And one of our favorite sandwiches here that people love is our homemade chicken salad sandwiches. And we put it on our homemade wheat bread or our homemade white bread. Well, it's pretty ironic that today we're talking about chicken salad sandwiches. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, because at the farm this morning, we did a little bit of a harvest of our chickens. <laughs> Let me just Sorry, say, we I'd went from that. 18 roosters this morning and we're down to 14. So, uh, not that these are our roosters, but um, you can go to any of your favorite grocery stores and, and get the chicken. Yeah. But, and uh, everybody loves the chicken salad here. It's really good. Well, and I think what makes this chicken salad so great is that we do use all white meat, which yep. is chicken breast. Which we, we boil ourselves. I mean, you, we don't buy it already done. We actually boil it every morning, make it fresh. We cut up uh, grapes and granny apples and celery, and so everything's fresh. Yep, so what we've done is we're gonna go ahead and put this together. We're gonna add our grapes. <laughs> we're dump those all in together. Add our apples. Next, we add our celery. And how much mayonnaise, Marcy, do you like to put in this? See, I don't measure, so I just kind of, I would say, what do you think? Is that a cup, cup and a half? Probably a cup and a half. Yeah. And it we really use... depends on how much you, how much chicken that you cook. And I know. think these are, this is six chicken breast here. And then we're going to add in our garlic powder. And again, we don't really measure. We just kind of go with yeah. it and see what, what all comes out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Add a little bit of salt and pepper. And like Marcy said, this is by far best on our homemade wheat bread. It is. Or white bread if you like the white bread. But you just mix it up really good. It's nice and chunky. Look how thick it is. Some people like to have their chicken really diced and really yeah. in small pieces mm -hmm. or shredded. I personally like to have it nice and chunky. Same with the apples and the celery and the grapes. I don't like it too small. Yeah, that looks beautiful. If you're going to make this, you might as well be able to take a bite into your sandwich and really taste every aspect of what's in there. And this right here is our homemade wheat bread, which is a favorite. All right, go ahead and grab a slice. And then we like to top this also with a little piece of nice fresh lettuce, some sliced tomato. Some people like to have it just on a bed of lettuce as well, and that's fine too yeah, if you're trying to not eat so much bread. Doesn't that bread. look beautiful? It does look beautiful. That is beautiful. Isn't that great? 
That's quite a portion, isn't it? It is. I'm Actually, hungry. I am too. I I'm was just going to say, why don't we try it's it? It's not every day we get to have this. I, I mean, know. We make it all the time, but we don't always get to try it. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> wow. That was really good. Love that apple. Mm -hmm. that so good. Well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the cook's mouth. <laughs> That's our chicken salad sandwich here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. <laughs> One bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> You go from rags to riches Farm to fame From digging ditches To the whole world knows your name You'll stand in the spotlight Till the light goes dim And it's rags to riches Our daughter Heidi is getting married today in about 45 minutes. Can you believe that? No, I can't. They're back there taking pictures right now, and we just got done taking some pictures with them. We have two daughters, and this is our first wedding. Heidi's our oldest, and um, she's getting married, so it's really exciting for all of us. And, uh, Joey and Hopi, our youngest daughter, are both maid of honors. Mm -hmm. And they're both so beautiful, so proud of them, so excited for Heidi. She looks gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. So I think we're all just trying to hold it together for a little while. A little while longer. I was involved in making her dress, which I did it with so much pride and I was you know, I, I need. I, there's no words actually sometimes to describe what you, what you want to tell about a girl that you've been known since she was a little girl. Generally, he makes a lot of rhinestone and embroidered things, but he obviously went a little simpler for me, more my style. I didn't put him outside. We have the jewels inside, and that's Heidi. And the simplicity of the dress is because she is so great. You know, she's so great. She doesn't need anything else but what she wore. You know, dresses can be pretty. You have to have the person in them, and that person has to have the soul to wear that dress properly. And I'm so happy to have done the dress for her. It's, it's my pride and joy. And, and, and I love, I love Heidi with all my heart. Sweetheart, look at you. Oh, sweetheart, congratulations. This is Heidi's engagement ring. So, so little bitty. Her hands are so small. Heidi's marrying a boy named Casey Pierce. Casey is a 30 year old painter artist that really enjoys painting, talking about the universe and or planets, <laughs> aliens, science. science in general, watching documentaries, eating cereal late at night, and going to Burger Up. And he's great. <laughs> he's a really great guy, so we feel very fortunate that he's going to be a part of our family. She got a date set for the month of May She got a ring on her hand She got a deal on a good DJ She got herself a new man She got a dress and a sweet bouquet 
She got a honeymoon plan She got my old car for a getaway She got herself a new man And I can't hold on forever Oh, but I'm sure gonna try To keep these years we've had together From falling from my eyes She got a place In the bowels, they say She got a spot where I'll stand I gotta give my sweet girl away She got herself a new man And I can't hold on forever Oh, but I'm sure gonna try To keep all these years we've had together From falling from my eyes, she got a date set in the month of May. For better, for worse, for richer, she got a ring on her hand. In sickness and in health, I gotta give my sweet girl away. I now pronounce you husband and wife. She got herself a new man. Yeah, I get to give my sweet girl away. Cause she got herself a good man. We'd like to thank our special guest, Heidi, our daughter. We hope, like us, all her dreams come true. Believing her dreams will take her somewhere. Still being herself if she ever gets there. That's important to me. That's important to me. Don't forget about what's most important to you. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. Thank you again for tuning in. We hope to see you this time next week, same channel.